In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct an HTML table, all the ins and outs, and how to do it properly, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where I help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's learn how to make HTML tables. So. On the left hand side of the screen, I have a file open called html-table.html. Very simple HTML file, just has a basic HTML structure layout. On the right hand side, I have my browser where I have that file open and currently just renders a blank page. And the first thing we want to do is add our table tags. And they're very simple. They're just opening and closing pointy brackets with table to open it and then forward slash table to close it. It's going to add them in right here. And if we save the page now, there's still nothing there because there's no actual content within the table tags. And to add content there, what we want to do is add a row tag and that's just a TR. And so we add the TR opening and the TR closing tags. And within those, if it's the very first row of the table, you have the option of having uh, just a TD tag or a th tag. td is for table data, th is for table heading. Quite often a table has headings and the very first row is used to create those headings. So usually, but not always, the very first row contains th tags and every other row contains td tags. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So we're gonna add in the very first row. I already have these pre-written so you don't have to watch me type them out because that's not exciting to watch that. But we have here, we have a th tag, and th tag first name, th tag interest, th tag skill level. And what this will do is it will create, we will have, we will have a table with one row, this is the row, and it will have three columns. These are the columns within that row. So if we save the page, we will see those laid out right here. They don't look very pretty, we don't have any formatting, no CSS. This is just a, a stock default HTML table. And something that, um, that browsers do, every browser I believe, does for th tags, it centers the text and it makes the text bold by default. When we add the td tags in just a moment on our other rows, you'll see that they're not centered, not bold. And that's, that's default functionality. So don't freak out if that happens, that's how it's supposed to be. So we have one row with three columns. So let's add some table data. We're gonna start another row by adding our opening TR tag. We're gonna add um, back up. Because we have three columns in our first row defined, we're gonna to have to define three columns in every row. Otherwise, we're gonna have a table where the columns don't line up and it's gonna be an awful mess. So however many columns you have defined, in your rows, they always have to be the same number of columns. There are a couple of exceptions that we'll get to at the end, but those have to be planned out. And if you're using those exceptions, you're going to know what you're doing. So um, sometimes there are exceptions, sometimes there aren't. But in general, you want as many uh, TD entries as you have TH entries on every single row. So I'm just going to finish uh, Don's entry here. So we have the opening TR. We have some information about Don, we have his name, he's interested in JavaScript, his skill level is 94, which is pretty good. And we have the closing table row. If we save this file, we see that his information is input here in these columns. And it's not pretty, it's now left aligned, and it's not bold, because these aren't th tags. So just for sake of completeness and, and better visualizing this stuff, I'm gonna add a bunch more rows with data. And we're adding Heather, Hank, Jenny, and Roger and their various skills and interests and skill levels. And this is what a basic HTML table is, what it looks like. So you're done. If you master the table tag, the TR, the TH, and the TD, you are creating HTML tables. You can create as many as you want with as many rows and data cells as you want. Um, which is which is pretty cool um, But as you can tell this is not beautiful 
Like even, even just some basic borders would be great. And you can do that within the HTML um, by defining, by going up the table and defining border equals one, for example. And we save and refresh the page. And we have this border, which you quite often see on very old websites, but that's not pretty either. It, it, just, it looks old. So what I usually recommend is that you do it with CSS. So between the head tags on your HTML file, we add a style tag, an opening tag, and a style closing tag. Between those tags, we're gonna add some CSS commands. We're gonna say for the table tag, the TH tag, and the TD tag, we wanna define a border that is one pixel wide. The thickness of the border is one pixel. It's solid and the color is black. We want the border to collapse, meaning fit very tightly to the data. So if we save this and refresh the page, we will see that instead of that double edge border that we had before when we used the HTML version, we now have a nice, sharp, clean, one pixel border around our data. But it still looks a little scrunched. So we're just gonna add some padding to make that a little tidier. So what we've done is for the TH tag, or yeah, for the TH tag and the TD tag, we wanna add padding of 15 pixels. And that's going to, for every single row, every single TH, this is a TH, and these are all TDs, every one of those will have 15 pixels of space added on all sides. So if I refresh, or sorry, I save this page and refresh, you'll see what I mean. So now we have a bunch more space. It makes the table much more readable and it's definitely a step up from what we had before. Let's go back. I'm just gonna quickly go back to the original that we had. So that's what the default table looks like. It's not very pretty, not easy to read. If we just add some simple stuff, just a border and some, some padding, it makes the table so much better already. And if, if, that, if that is the extent of the table that you need, you can stop right now. But if you wanna do some special stuff, for example, we could have this interest cell span both of these cells. So there, there will be no skill level, we just have interest across here and no skill level. And the way you do that is we go into the TH for the interest, into the table heading tag for the interest entry and we type in col span, which is for uh, which is the attribute for column span, equals quotations open, quotations closed, and the number two in between them. And then we want to delete skill level. Save the file, refresh it, and now we have interest being the heading for both of these columns. And this isn't the best example for when to use this. But if you are looking for a heading that spans multiple columns, this is what you're looking for, the call span attribute. And you can do it the, do that for rows as well. So if, for example, we wanted to have Don, maybe Don is interested in JavaScript and ASP, and he's 94 and 76 in both. So we can have Don show up as one big cell right here. We can combine the Don and Heather cell and keep these split as they are now. And the way we do that is we go into the TD, the table data tag for Don, and we type in the attribute row span. And we add the equals, we add the quotations open and closing, and we type the number two. But what we have to do is take out Heather because Don is gonna take up two columns now, so we have to take out Heather in the next column. So we're gonna remove Heather, save the file, refresh the page, and now we have Don taking up both of these rows, and these are his two skills and two interests. Now what if we don't remove Heather? What's gonna happen? We're gonna put her back in, save the page, refresh the page, and we see that it's kinda of messed up. That's not really what we want here. We have Don and he's interested in JavaScript and he's interested in Heather. That, that may be true that he's interested in Heather, but that's not how we want this table to look. And as you can see in the skill level, this isn't an appropriate answer. And then the 76 is off all by itself in the middle of nowhere. 
So we want to remove Heather because we know that the row span is going to be two. So we have to remove the first TD on the very next row. Now we could change this to three as well. Then we have to remove Hank from the third row. Refresh the page. Now we have Don spanning all of these rows. Now we can have Don spanning every single row. We could take out Jenny and Roger, make Don five, or Don's row span five, and now these are all his interests and his skill levels. If you can master the things we went through in this video, you can pretty much make any kind of table you want in HTML. And if you're using something like PHP to insert dynamic data into here, you just, instead of Don, you would have the, the PHP function that pulls his name from a database. And then you'd have your PHP auto-generate the, the, the HTML for the rows and the, the table data. But that's not the topic of this, um, of this tutorial. This is just how do you do a basic HTML table, and that's how you do it. And that's all there is to creating HTML tables. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appeared on the right hand side so you can learn more about coding. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.